Oh my goodness, it's actually so nice. Look at this pool area with a sea view. Wow. That's better. I've just diffused the nose a little. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the final instalment of Italy. This one is going to be Sorrento and it's going to be also Jake's 30th birthday so it's going to be a really fun one. It's actually Tuesday now and we're leaving Amalfi to go to Sorrento so we're just going to get the bus, we'll try to get the ferry but basically it's all reduced services um, with it being October so we're going to get the bus which will take like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, obviously there's some surprises when we get to the hotel because I've asked the hotel to do, to do balloons and I've also asked the hotel, um, a little cake maker from Sorrento to make some cupcakes and biscuits obviously it's Jake's 30th tomorrow so it's his birthday eve today so I've tried to make it as special as I can and then we're just gonna have the loveliest three days in Sorrento and um, it was raining yesterday but the sun's back out so I'm like thank goodness um but yeah that's what this vlog's gonna be so if you're interested let's get on with it so we've arrived in Sorrento and we're already both like oh, this just feels so nice the weather's good not gonna lie the bus was kind of not the best but for three euros each what can you like what you can't really complain oh here we are anyway we're just about to check to check in our hotel when we find it but yeah it seems so good here this seems good and she was like i'll put a candle in this is the candle yeah how cute and then there's another box. Mm. Little birthday surprise for the birthday boy tomorrow. This room is also gorgeous. We had a little upgrade. Um, and I got someone to make Jake some birthday treats. These look so good. And she popped a candle in. And then she also did cookies. And, oh wow, and then she left a little bag for me as well, how gorgeous, but yeah, eek! Just a little sneak peek of the bathroom as well, how gorgeous is this? The pink is just everything, wow, wow, wow. We also have a gorgeous Valshon, woo! with the most amazing view. This room is literally so nice. Um, like I say, they upgraded us, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited. We're gonna go and explore, see where the pool is. I'm gonna put like a bikini on a little cover up so I can get ready and get in the pool. Um, but Sorrento is really warm when we got here. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for three nights of this. It just seems amazing, so yeah. All exciting, and the bed feels very comfy. This is the hotel. Oh my goodness, it's actually so nice. To be fair, as soon as we got off the bus, we both knew it was going to be lovely because it's more like it's got like shops and things, whereas Amalfi had shops but all of the same thing, which was just kind of like. <laughs> Souvenirs, which is fine, but this is just right up mine and Jake's street. It's beautiful. I think we're just gonna lie by the pool and relax. Look at this pool area with a sea view. Wow. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. This is me being brave because it's freezing. think we'll want to come back to Sorrento it's actually gorgeous and um, we're both gonna have pasta we went from having club sandwiches around the pool to we came and sat down and we're gonna have pasta I think I'm gonna have tagliatelle bolognese and a glass of prosecco and yeah just gonna chill it's honestly 
be dreamy here, like a wow. Well. So I'm just about to start and do my makeup and I thought I'd just quickly come on to the vlog. I've got you propped up in a little cupboard um, and I'm just about to start my makeup. Honestly, I've broke out so much and I think it's off all of the pasta, pizza, carbohydrates. Um, but anyway, it's been lovely. Um, also, I didn't really speak about this in my last vlog, but I thought I would speak about it in this vlog. Um, just because I thought why not but I didn't really end the last vlog with much detail about Amalfi Coast so I thought I would just kind of go into it a little bit more in this vlog because obviously if you're watching I'm thinking you might have been watching the whole Italy series I don't know if you're new to my channel thank you for watching but I just wanted to talk about the Amalfi because obviously I didn't really go into much detail about it in the last video apart from filming it all and I'm not gonna lie, and I'm being really honest when I say this because I feel like I, again, this is not, this is not at all ungrateful. Um, it's just my total opinion, and I really think that I was actually really underwhelmed by the Amalfi Coast, and oh, I'm so sad that I'm even saying that because I always felt like Amalfi would be a place that I would like love to go and. Obviously, I was so excited to go, but I do really feel like I was quite underwhelmed by it. And then I think it's proved even more how kind of much it was underwhelming. When we arrived here today, and honestly, we just literally got off the bus. We walked about, I don't know, 10 steps, and I was like, it's already more beautiful here. And I guess it's because obviously I like my like what i like not everyone's gonna like the same like no one likes the same things but i just think because there's a few more shops here and there's like a lot more probably to look at in terms of like shops and restaurants bars all of that i think for me i find that a little bit more interesting and also there was like i don't know it was sunny here which makes a massive difference of course i know the malfi coast couldn't help that it was rainy you know yesterday um but all of the shops, because we stayed in Amalfi, went to Positano for the day, which was really underwhelming, and went to Ravello for one of the days, which was really nice, but I think that would have been actually nicer if it was sunny. I think we would have preferred that. But um, staying in Amalfi itself was lovely because we were really handy for everything, but I do think that it's just like, I don't know, the shops were just rubbish, for example, like, they were all the same shops with different names on them, but they all had the same stuff like souvenirs, which is absolutely fine and we did buy some bits. But once you've seen one souvenir shop with tea towels and little lemoncellos, it's kind of all the same. So I don't know, I think that also plays a part into it and also we have been very lucky to go to loads of different places in Italy with like all the lovely shops and I'm not even on about like the likes of it, the, the big shops like Zara and stuff but even like, I don't know, like little Italian shops just like with Italian brands in I was like that's what I want to see and look at and even if you don't buy anything just nice to mooch. Um, so yeah, I do honestly think the Amalfi Coast was a little bit underwhelming. Would, in, I've got to be honest, I'm not sure whether I would think that, sorry, my makeup looks crazy, but I'm going to put some fake tan on. Um, I'm not sure I would think it was underwhelming if I hadn't been to so many nicer, sorry, so many other places before we went there. But because we've done quite a bit of traveling and seen a lot of different places, I think it had a lot to, sorry, a lot to like, maybe live up to I guess because we went to Portofino if you've been keeping up with the vlogs you'll know that and honestly that was just beautiful and I think because we hired a boat there and we did like that sort of side of it I thought Amalfi was going to be more like that but actually Amalfi was just super overpriced for everything like even a cappuccino we were paying in like for example two rin because we've been there as well or even Milan, we were paying like 150 for a cappuccino, which is super cheap compared to England. But in Amalfi, it was like 3 euros, 4 euros, 5 euros. Like it was just 
so overpriced and I think that really when you've done a lot like if that was just a holiday and we just went there you wouldn't mind because it's your holiday but when you've done a lot of places and you know that they actually are just fully ripping you off because you can't go anywhere else p.s why do I look so yellow um I don't know I think it leaves a bit of a bit of taste but yeah that's my thoughts on Amalfi Coast but let's talk all things Sorrento because obviously we're in Sorrento celebrating for three nights for Jake's 30th birthday. Sorry, one sec. And when we got to this hotel, I'd already been in contact with them because I was doing sorting the balloons and um, I'd also organised the little cakes and cupcakes. Sorry, cookies and cupcakes to come as well. I knew this hotel was going to be amazing, but honestly, it's so nice. It's actually called the Grand Hotel Royal. Um, I think it's like a chain of hotels, but honestly, it's just so nice. Like, oh, I love it. I already don't want to leave. And I think because we're here for three days, sorry, well, three nights, two full days, like two and a half days, I think it'll leave us wanting to come back because there's probably still so much we can do. Um... So I'm very, very, very excited. But yeah, I'm just going to get ready to go out now. And I'm going to stop filming because I think I look crazy because of this light. I look very yellow, but anyway, it will work out. But yeah, just thought I'd do a little update on Amalfi because I didn't really talk about it in the last vlog. And also, just a little catch up as I did my skincare in my base, but... I need to get some serious tan on. I haven't really caught a tan because I've had, we've been mooching a lot and obviously when you've got like clothes on, it's hard. I, I haven't even been that bothered. I've just been fake tanning when I felt like I need a bit of colour. So save the age and skin anyway. But uh, anyway, let's get ready. I'll show you my outfit and I'll take you out with us tonight. So I'm actually matching with the headboard tonight, my outfit. <laughs> I actually have worn this dress a couple of times, but I got it in the mango sale. Or did I get it and then it went in the sale? I can't remember. But yeah, matching the headboard of the room. <laughs> Birthday Eve boy. <laughs> Little breakfast spot. Good morning and welcome back to Sorrento. It's Jake's birthday today and we've had a lovely morning so far. I did him uh, I made him a little birthday montage which we've watched and we have had breakfast and yeah it's been lovely so it is now sunbathing by the pool and that's what we're gonna do all day just relax chill have some lunch then we've got sunset drinks later which is gonna be lovely and um, he's obviously over there but you know he doesn't feature and his birthday wish for today was no quick no photos and no videos so maybe i'll have to stick to his wish but yeah we're gonna have a lovely day and hopefully catch a tan i've actually put some fake tan on because i felt so pale um which is so annoying but yeah ready to have the best birthday for jakey whoop, whoop. So I tried to take the vlog before because I went to the hairdressers but the battery had actually died. So I've just had my hair blow dried. It's nice and silky, a little bit of bend under the bottom. It looks so nice. Um, and I'm now just gonna get ready because we're going out for drinks tonight and then food. But to be fair, we're going to this really nice place for drinks. But we haven't really got the sunset for it and that's what we're doing, sunset drinks. But the sunset's not really sunset but who cares? Let's just enjoy it anyway. I'm gonna get ready and go out. We've had a little cloud or two today, but tomorrow for our last day is meant to be glorious sun sunshine. But we've had a lovely day anyway. 
So I'm actually matching the headboard again. <laughs> this is becoming quite the, quite the thing, isn't it? So I'm ready now to go out for Jake's birthday. I've got a pink dress on, like I just showed you. I'm matching the headboard again. Um, but we're going to a hotel called the Grand Hotel Elixir, I think it's called. It's basically a really famous hotel for like sunset drinks. Although I don't know how much of a sunset we're gonna get, if I'm honest, but obviously we'll leave on Friday morning. So we don't wanna go for drinks really tomorrow night. We'd prefer to do it tonight. So we're gonna do it obviously and just Hopefully still get a nice sunset, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. And yeah, we're gonna go for food after that, I think. But right now, I'm just waiting on Jake. We might still get a sunset, actually. It's not dead, dead, dead cloudy. Also, don't know whether I've done my nose contour a bit strong. It looks it in this viewfinder, but in real life, it doesn't actually look this bad. Oh yeah, it's quite harsh. Let me fix that. That's better. I've just diffused the nose a little bit. Anyway, ready to rock and roll. Little Moscow mules for the birthday boy. Cheers. Oh my god, they've been in the freezer. Happy birthday. Snakes as well. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, I look very tired. Um, we've been for breakfast and we just went and did a little tiny bit of shopping. Um, and I picked up some bits in, I don't know how to say it. Tennis, tesen, tennises, tennis, I don't know. Um, so I just quickly thought I would show you. So I've seen these pyjamas every time I've walked past and I've been thinking about them. So I was like, let's go back and get them. They're like a lilac, just like a pyjama trouser with a little bit of lace at the bottom. They're only like 20, 25 pounds for the set, which I thought wasn't too bad and it's so soft. And then it's like a longer t-shirt. I thought these would be cute, ready for winter when I get back home. And then I actually got this little gym set, which I seen when we were in Portofino, I think. Um, and I actually tried it on and I was like, if I think about it, Still, I'll come back and get it and it's like a navy high-waisted like long trouser set with a little sports bra sort of style top and I thought I could just wear like my one of my like lululemon jackets one of them my lulu no, I only got one my lululemon jacket on the top but I thought that was such a nice set it actually doesn't have any padding in and um, so I'll have to wear a sports bra probably underneath for security but it was quite tight so I think it'll be good um, oh my god, I can't believe how tired I look. And, sorry, I'll vlog here because I think that's not very good light. And yeah, that was what I picked up. Um, and now we're just going to go sunbathe for the final day. Oh, I'm so, like, it's kind of weird because I think we're both not ready for home, but fine about going home. 
um, and but we're both glad we're leaving it here in Sorrento on a high and I think we'll definitely come back to Sorrento because we've just chilled but there's things we could actually do if we wanted to but I think we've been fine just relaxing and chilling but I think it means that we will be able to come back in the future because there's still loads to do um, the hotel has been an absolute dream and this bed by the way is the most bloody gorgeous comfortable thing in the world we're looking where the bedding's from because it's so soft and silky um but it's actually made in italy so i want to invest in some of that um but yeah we had a lovely night last night for jake's birthday went to this gorgeous hotel it was called the whole i don't actually know a lick i'll write it on the screen i don't know the name vitoria elixir or something and jake's sister actually got him a voucher for his birthday so i had cocktails and um, we actually got chatting to two brazilian men who were lovely um we chatted to them all night actually and then we just went for noki at a place called noki um but yeah i feel like there's so much to do in sorrento it's just beautiful um but yeah excited for another day and then we're going home tomorrow we've got to be up at like 5 30 because we need to be at the bus station for 6 30 but apparently the hotel like prep you like a little breakfast because you can't make breakfast they send you on your way with breakfast packages like a little breakfast package which i think's fabulous um and yeah i just feel really grateful that we've had the most insane trip obviously this is just the sorrento vlog but if you've not watched the others go and catch up on where we've been we looked well, I looked this morning and we've been to 10 different places, um, which is just crazy. Um, and we've been away for three weeks and three days, which is just mad crazy. But yeah, I don't know. It's been the best. So anyway, let's go and enjoy the day. I can't believe how tired I actually look. Wow. Can't believe me even vlogging. I just look wrecked. I'm not. I had a good sleep looks like it didn't but i have um yeah i'm gonna take my headphones to the pool as well and maybe watch some youtube and just really enjoy the last day of chilling so yeah don't want to go home to rain but anyway let's get on with the day i've just got ready and we're off out for our final night as you can see, I've actually burnt my chest today, which is very annoying, but it was my own fault. Um, but yeah, we're off out for the final night in Sorrento and we'll leave to go home tomorrow. So let's go and explore the final night. One last time, Noki a la Sorrento. So we've just been to a restaurant recommended by Jake's sister and it was so good. I got the Noki a la Sorrento. Sorrento, sorry. Oh my god, it was so good. Final meal done. Oh. Jake only would have just got last night. We got little chocolates. This bed is honestly so comfy, and this robe is also just like I don't think anything beats a hotel robe, especially these ones. Um, I want to pinch it. I also want to pinch the bed sheets, but I think I might get found out. So obviously, I'm not gonna. Um, but yeah, oh, it's so cosy. I don't want to leave tomorrow. Very sad. But, gotta go home. So I didn't get to end this Sorrento vlog and I've just been editing it back and realised that it wasn't finished. Um, I just wanted to say like we had the most amazing time in Italy and actually Sorrento is somewhere that I definitely think we'll end up going back in the future because we still have left it open to do a lot more when we go back because we didn't see Capri, we didn't see Com uh, Pompeii. So I feel like we definitely would go back to Sorrento. Um, but I just wanted to end this vlog and just say thank you for watching all of the Italy content which is now done and it will we'll resume back to normal vlogs and Christmas content etc etc. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and of course I will see you in my next video.